All right, Schlagmeister fans, we have a horror classic from the 80s, Stephen King's Silver Bullet. Let's watch. The movie starts out with the train tracks. That's a severed head from a werewolf. There wasn't enough evidence to conclude anything else. Baby. Don't you ever drag you me know, off like that. You know it's your baby. Look, you know yeah, I had this know conversation before. Sorry, baby. I have to have some help, but it's I don't your album, but it ain't my bun you got baby. Huh? Our two stars are Corey Heim, his name is uh, Marty. This is his sister Janie. He's paying her some money for some new pantyhose after Marty's friend messed him up. Suicides go to hell. Especially if they're pregnant. That pregnant woman's gonna Not kill herself. And it looks like she's being stalked. And the werewolf jumps to the window. Marty's in a wheelchair, and this is Uncle Red, played by Gary Busey. Hey, why do you let him call you jackass all the time? The bartender says, oh, he always, he always, he always called me that. Uncle Red's a bit of a drunk. So the Yankee. Our next victim is checking out his greenhouse when he gets attacked from below. This is Marty's friend Brady. He just left him. Brady wanted to stick around a little while to fly his kite a little more, apparently. A couple hours later. So the town is organizing a posse now to find this killer. Preacher's cleaning up, even using a baseball bat. There's a pretty cool dream sequence where everyone in church starts to wolf out. Uncle Red builds Marty the silver bullet. A new wheelchair which goes really fast. That night, Marty sneaks out at night to shoot off some fireworks and encounters the wolf, but gets him right in the eye. And escapes. He told me something that was clearly unbelievable. And yet somehow, I believed most of it. And I understood one thing with total clarity. Marty himself believed it all. So Janie goes out looking for a guy with one eye. Sometimes do that. Reverend Janie finds the bartender's bat. And then she finds Reverend Lowe. Having some trouble. 
They sent him an anonymous letter saying to kill yourself. After that, then on Saturday, we told Uncle Red what we'd been up to. His reaction was less than serene. Holy junk of ball head, Jesus, proud of me! Reverend Lowe catches Marty on the road. But before he can dump him in the water, he gets saved. Uncle Red tells the sheriff. The sheriff goes to investigate. Finds the bat. I think you'd better come along with me, Rip. Mashes him with the bat, and shortly thereafter, that's going to be the end of the good sheriff. You want a silver bullet? Uncle Red, uh, despite his non-belief, gets a silver bullet made for them. Uncle Red agrees to stay with him the night of the next full moon. He retrieves the bullet and the gun. A few death throws later. Our werewolf is dead, and our movie is over. All right, let's talk about Stephen King's Silver Bullet. It came out in 1985, I believe. Um, I think I taped it off of cable and, and recorded it at the time. Uh, maybe I rented it and copied it. I'm not sure. I think I taped it, though. Um, now, I'm just wondering, is there, like, a, a, a fan hatred against this movie? I don't know. I'm part of some Facebook groups of horror fans and stuff. Everybody seems to like that movie, and they get excited about it and that sort of thing. But when you look on IMDb, the Metacritic for this is 26, which is extremely, extremely low. I mean, it's not the greatest movie in the world, not the greatest horror movie, not the greatest werewolf movie, but it's not 26 worthy. That's horrible. I don't know. I don't get it. I like this movie quite a bit, actually. So, anyway, what we have in this town, I think the town's name is Castle Rock, like a lot of the Stephen King stories have or take place in. And uh, we have Marty, played by Corey Haim, who's in a wheelchair. He's paralyzed from the waist down. Uh, his sister Janie and their Uncle Red, played by Gary Busey. Uh, Gary Busey makes a, a motorized wheelchair for, for Marty that goes really fast. And um, while that's happening, there's a werewolf in town killing people every time there's a full moon. Um including Marty's friend Brady. Now, one night, Marty is off shooting uh, fireworks, firecrackers, uh, bottle rockets, and he encounters the wolf. He shoots the wolf in the eye with his bottle rocket uh, and manages to escape. The next day, he uh, tells his sister Janie about it. Janie doesn't believe him, but she knows that Marty believes, so she decides to look, look into town to see if she can find anybody with one eye. So she does some can collecting for the church, finds nobody, but she gets to the church, she drops off the cans, and then she runs into Reverend Lowe, who, of course, has one eye. So she's freaking out. Obviously, she, she thinks there might be some truth to this story now. They write him some anonymous letters saying, kill yourself. Then they tell Uncle Red about it, who says, holy jump to bald-headed Jesus Palomina. Something I've been saying for 35 years. He doesn't believe them, but the next day, Marty gets run off the road by the Reverend. And the Reverend's about to throw him in the, in the river when um, a neighbor stops by. So the Reverend had to take off before he could kill him. Um, they tell Uncle Red about that. Uncle Red talk, calls the police. The sheriff goes to investigate. And then... Um, Reverend Low Wolf's out and kills the sheriff, so he's missing now. Um, Gary Busey gets a silver bullet made and agrees to stay with the kids the next full moon. Um, and eventually, of course, the wolf shows up, and after a brief struggle, uh, they do manage to shoot the wolf in the eye, the other eye. So even if the wolf lived, he would have no eyes at this point. So, But they kill the werewolf, and that's how our movie ends. So anyway, like I said, I really, really like this movie. I thought it had some good tension. It was just 
a fun little werewolf movie. It's very quick, 90 minutes, and it goes very fast. And it's just it's just fun. It's very entertaining. Um, Corey Haim is uh, obviously deceased. Gary Busey's still around now. The back of the box, there's a picture of the werewolf on it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's the dumbest looking werewolf. It looked like a smiley, happy party werewolf. Um, I wasn't overly impressed with the makeup of the werewolf once it was fully wolfed out. And some of the transformation sequences were okay. They were, they were nice, but uh, the actual wolf itself looked a little funny to me. But whatever. It's a werewolf. I like werewolf movies. And this is, I think, a pretty good one. It's not up there with Howling or um, American Werewolf in London, but it's pretty good. Um, I definitely approve. So anyway, I'm sure everybody's seen this movie. Um, and I'm curious what you think about it. It was Stephen King. I think this came from a uh, little short story called Cycle of the Werewolf believe anyway uh it has been released on blu-ray overseas and i think it may have just gotten a blu-ray release in this country too i'm not 100 percent sure on that but at the very least you can get the dvd and i'm guessing this dvd is pretty cheap at this point i've had this thing for 20 years i think so anyway so that's it check it out let me know what you think about it. i'm sure you've all seen it leave some comments what do you think about silver bullet watch it bye <laughs>